Welcome to Arthritis Help. I'm Dr. Dave, physical therapist, teaching you how to move differently so you can feel better. Today we're going to be working on one of my favorite hip and low back mobility exercises. However, it does require you to get on your hands and knees. So if you have trouble with your wrists or trouble with the knees kneeling on them, this may not be the exercise for you. But if you can do that, this is one of my favorite and most powerful flexibility uh, exercises that I give my patients. So we're just going to start right here on hands and knees. And if this bothers your wrists, you can go onto your knuckles. But if not, it's a little bit easier down on the hands. You're going to walk your knees back just a little bit so that uh, your hips aren't directly over your knees. Uh, and so we're going to start with a couple of gentle cat-cow poses where we just kind of arch the back and round the back and arch the back and round the back just to loosen everything up. And then when we, on the next, when we round the back, we're going to keep the back round and we're going to let the body shift forward and bring the pelvis all the way down towards the table without letting go of the belly. So we don't want to sag the belly in. We want to draw the belly back towards the spine a little bit. All right, I'm going to show you that one more time. You're going to round the back. You're going to keep the back rounded. We're not going to let the belly drop. Keep the back rounded as you come forward and keep that rounded to wherever you can go. And you're going to feel that you're going to start to uh, develop flexibility in the front of the hips or in the lowest, lowest part of the back. If you let the belly go, you're going to sag into the part of your back that you always bend, your old familiar place to bend from. That's not where we want to bend from. We want to bend from someplace new. So in order to do that, we have to tuck the tail, round the back, and maintain that all the way through. So there's a bit of a pelvic thrust all the way through until the very end. When you get to the end, you don't want to sink in with the shoulders and neck. You want to elongate the arms. You can even turn the elbows out a little bit and feel your hips fall through towards the table. To wherever you can go is fine. Don't put yourself into pain. Rule number one, always be kind to yourself. So do whatever feels comfortable for you. We're going to try that one more time. Tuck the tail, come forward, let the hips fall down, but don't let the belly go. So keep that belly engaged. And make sure that you're not digging with your knees. If you're digging your knees in, holding your hips up, that's going to prevent you from getting down. You have to relax the knees, relax the hips, relax the butt. Just engage the belly right through there. And then you can hold here for about three, four, five seconds just to kind of sink into this area, but making sure that we're not just falling into our old familiar pattern. We're going to draw that belly button in. And then after that, we're going to come back into a little bit of a heel sit position just to rest the back in the opposite direction. It's a nice way to stretch the back in that opposite way after we've done that big stretch in the back bend. So just one more time, tuck the tail, round the back, come down, hold for five seconds, and then push with the hands straight back into a little mini child's pose or whatever your body allows you to get to. I, I have my clients do about 10 of those with about a three second hold, but you could do just five of them. Just getting into that position uh, just a few times is really good for the back. It really helps to open up the front of the hips and it's going to help you to stand upright more easily, more comfortably, um, and hopefully uh, with less effort and less thought. So uh, I hope that works for you. Let me know. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to thank yourselves for taking the time of doing what is going to make you feel better. Not everyone does it, but you did. I'll see you all next week with a whole new video teaching you to move differently so you can feel better. Take care of yourselves.